Hey, uh, really good to see you again. And thanks for taking a moment to share a bit about your experiences. I remember when we first met and I was sharing with you, hey, we're going to get you published in a Q1 journal. Um, I, I think telling you that then you didn't really believe me. So uh, your story is just really inspiring, I, th I think, for a lot of people out there. So just take us from the beginning. Um, where were you before before we started working together? Yeah, so before we, uh, we first started working together, I was about to start my PhD program, but I didn't feel like I had any preparations um, prior to that during my master's or my undergrads. I didn't have any strong preparations. Got it, got it. And so, um, so it's kind of you wanted to get a step ahead, or you know how competitive graduate training is. What what was your your thinking there? It just you wanted to get <laughs> be in your cohort and impress everybody and really stand out, or yeah, what what was your thinking there? Yeah, that that was one of the reasons, but I think the main reason why was um, I feel like PhD programs are very fast, so I wanted to have a foundational training, um, or at least um, some training before I um, get into a PhD program, uh, so I won't be too far behind, especially with the pace. Got it. Yeah, that, that totally totally makes sense. Um, I, I mean, you're in a U.S. style program as well, and the first few years of coursework, you can really get immersed fast. So, so tell yeah. me a little bit, yeah, I think it, it's also helpful. What was it like uh, working together? Did you have any aha moments or light bulb moments? Yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, what did that feel like? Yeah. Yeah. It was a really good experience. Uh, it was a really, it was a really good experience working with David. Um, a lot of the content that he delivered through the program was great. Um, the feedback was really great as well. Um, the weekly feedback and I had a lot of access to many resources, um, like Corny and a lot of the uh, folks in the fa fast track program, they were very helpful with very minor questions I had. So I think that a lot of that played into, um, the success of my time here with David. Oh man, uh, yeah, it, it's awesome for me me to hear that, but more so for you. I mean, did, did um, because I know some of the the I mean, you published a systematic review and went start to finish. We, we su support you in the process, but um, you really ha ha had the reins. Um, uh, I guess what what was that like with your peers? Because I remember you stepped in and. You said something in, in your course too. You had some of this training. Uh, what did what did that feel like when you then were in your doctorate and had some of that training too? Uh, did you feel like you were a step ahead, or yeah? Share. Can you share a little bit about that with us because I know that interacted too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So um, starting my PhD program, I realized that I I was ahead of um, most of my peers um, because I had a systematic review training, which is um, a training that most of the PhD graduates, they have to go through. Um, usually by um, three papers, one of their papers would be systematic review. Yeah, so I already had basically a paper ready, uh, ready, right? So I had I had that experience ready. So I was a step ahead and um, it made my transition easier for me um, just to go into the PhD program. So it was definitely worth it. And I know that um, in PhD programs, they do train you to, but then um, their professors are really busy. So mm -hmm. you don't get the same attention as you do with the fast track program. Yeah. So um, it was, it was very fast paced. And um, I could see that a lot of my colleagues, they struggle with the pace because it was really fast and not a lot of attention like we get with fast track. Uh, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's why we do it. That's what we're here for. Um, let me ask you, what, what did it feel like when, uh, you got the acceptance letter. Um, I know you had a, a round of revision. Um, yeah, were, were you just kind of happy it was over or was it, what What did that feel like? Yeah, yeah, um, I, I was very proud of myself and happy. Um, I think that it was a, um, it wasn't something I would imagine myself to accomplish uh, very early on in my career. Got it. Nice. And uh, I guess just a couple last questions. Where are you now? Um, yeah, where are you now? What's next? Yeah, so I am um, in my second year of my PhD program now. So I will be um, 
doing more analysis, right? Um, more quant analysis. But then given that I did my systematic review, I was able to form um, some questions um, out of my interest and I was able to identify gaps within uh, my topic of interest. Yeah, yeah. so I will be um, uh, forming original research now. Nice, nice. Um, I, that's what I love to see uh, for researchers doing a systematic review that is really foundational. You get this confidence like you really know the field and it helps you spot some really low hanging fruit promising areas for future research. So, um, so you feel like it's actually gliding into to the next studies, uh, the next publications that you're going to do for the PhD. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess, yeah, uh, last thing, um, what would you say to anybody who's thinking about, uh, who might be in, in a uh, doctoral program like yourself, who, who's thinking about working with a research, co research coach or mentor? Yeah, and I think it's definitely worth it. Um, it's worth the investment. Um, it's a long-term investment. Um, I know that I think that when we pay tuition, we don't really think much about like the cost or like, I mean, like the, with the program, there is a cost, but I think it's 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 worth it because this is something that will stick with you for the rest of your life. And um, not a lot of, uh, you don't really get this kind of opportunity, this one-on-one -on -one opportunity um, outside of, uh, or in, in school, you don't get that kind of training camp. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. yeah th look, thanks so much for sharing your story, um, joining us today. Um, and just last thing, not to put you on the spot, but if anybody wanted to reach out to you, uh, how, how could they get in touch with you? Uh, they can see your paper hot off the press, so uh, your corresponding author. So could they email you there? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. they can uh, also find me. Um, on my email, I will provide uh, my email to David and he can post it. Perfect. We'll drop that in the comments here if anybody would like to chat to Yah. Look, it's just, it's really inspiring because I think a lot of people out there, maybe they, they feel like they're not getting the support they need as graduate students that are doctoral programs. They're hungry, they have lots of talent, but maybe they're just feeling a little uh, uncertain, a little bit lost. And uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, it, it's for me, it, uh, I might be a little emotional on this, but it just, it, it's really tremendously powerful um, to see the transformation and kind of the confidence uh, that that you've gained in, in the mm. short time that we've worked together, and um, kind of that sense of pride that you're a step ahead and you published while others in your program are still kind of uh, figuring out the game.